Hello everyone and welcome to another video on Celix. My name is Francisco and in this video I'm going to show you how to deconstruct a sample that already comes with Celix. In this case we're going to deconstruct a city. Uh, this will help you to better understand the sample and hopefully also uh, un give you an understanding of how to create a model like this. So first off you can see that we have a path create up here and the best way to stop the creation at a specific port like this one is by cutting off this edge and you can do that by holding alt and pressing the edge as you can see uh, it, you can see the, the 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 sign that will actually tell you that the information is not going through and therefore the information will come out of this port so you can see here as the result the path of a Voronoi um, map. As we go down, so if we stop the flow of information here, you can see that the actor transform is actually going to center um, the the map in the scope. After that, we have a create street. Let me just cut this off here and here. We have the create street, and what create street is going to do? This is a, a, a sub node, as you, you can see from the cut edges, and you can go into the sub node by right clicking and clicking open sub graph. And here you can see that you create a mesh from uh, the path of the Voronoi, and then select the actual street from the center of the cell of the Voronoi map. Uh, and then reset the scopes. So that's what this does. And you can see that this, this these ports are uh, they're sort of bold. Um, and this means that this is going to be the entry port uh, in here. So this is going to correspond to that. And this one is going to correspond to this port, this output, and this output to this one. Okay, so going back to the city, if you if we run this, you can see that the streets are created, and the center of the cells. If I open this flow up, you'll see that the streets will now have uh, a a texture, and that's due to this compound node, which you can explore for yourself. Uh, it gets a specific texture from a folder uh, and it's got the UV mapping as well. Going down this road, let me open this flow and cut it off for instance here and there. Okay. What this did was give a slight extrude in order to create a pavement. Let me just get a bit Further. You can see this slight um, extrude that happened here, and that's to create the pavement. If I open the flow here, you will see that uh, there's a material uh, uh, texture that's now been applied uh, to the side of the sidewalk or the pavement. Um, and then if I open the flow here, you'll see this uh, node, which is a compound node, this actually uh, creates the offsets for the pavements here and also separates the uh, outside so this uh, part of the pavement from the actual pavement let's say and the inside of the cell the remaining cell here the white bit okay so now going down this path you'll see that we will go through uh, a random node uh, a couple of meshes and, and then another random node and I'll explain to you what this means I'll stop it here uh, in this random node what we do is we're defining relatively um, how to split the inside of the cell so uh, we've decided to cut each cell uh, in four bits <clears throat> but not necessarily 50% um, on each side. So 
we are we're give, what we're going to do is we're going to give it a, a slight uh, variation in the cut. So in the first split, uh, it'll be bef between 40% and 60%, and then the the other cut, then the other um, perpendicular cut, it'll be between 30% and 50%. So split one will actually be split will actually be used in this uh, mesh split here and probably I should cut the flow here so you can see the split so you can see that the splits have been made and then after that this second split will be done and applied to um, the, the cells after that we have another random node and what this does is it selects a texture from a folder so this folder actually has several textures in it and what this random node will do is select one texture so that you can apply different textures to different buildings and also um, define the height the minimum height and the maximum height of the buildings this top texture will define the the texture of the upper part of the building, the top part of the building. You'll see as we go down. So the this extrude will actually take into consideration the height defined in the random node, as you can see. Uh, it's a filtered extrude because it's going to separate um, the top part, so the top um, the top uh, surface, the top uh, face from the remaining faces, from the rest, so that it can actually, and I'll show you, uh, define the side with this node, this, this compound node, which will use the facade texture that was defined also in this random node and then as we go down this other path you will see let me cut this off it, it, it does a little offset and then in this case uh, I should cut it here exactly you can see that it does a little offset a little ridge um, around the top face of the building and then they all get the same material and UV mapping and after that this mesh merge actually joins all the meshes together and, and that helps if for instance you want to export into unity or if you want to for instance uh, export to OBJ or FBX or um, any other uh, format so this, uh, so this uh, video has come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, more information in the description bar. Uh, you can leave a comment if you want. And subscribe if you want to see more of the videos. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.